Hi everyone, so um, I've done some fire, I've super glued the two halves together um, and fold, fold them sort of reasonably, um, <coughs> excuse me, close. Um, but, and and now we've got quite a, a reasonable fit to go on there. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good match, um, so I'm quite happy with that. So what I've done is, um, let's get my scriber. So I've measured down 15 from here, from this. So this is effectively the top. And we scribed a line there. And then I've half the distance of the, uh, of the spindle. So put a center pop there. Use my calipers and scribed around the size of that 30, 35 I think it was, or 37. Um, then I've done another couple of little uh, inner marks, because what I'm gonna do, what I've decided to do is, so we're gonna drill all this round and then we're gonna, I'm gonna file it. Now, it does seem a bit crazy when I've got a jig borer and a milling machine. Um, and I could even trepan it on the lathe. So there's lots of ways to do it. But because I'm doing the clock project, I think um, uh, filing's probably not a bad thing to uh, keep practicing at the moment. And and it, it wasn't perfect what I did here. So it sort of encouraged me to spend a bit more time with the hand tools. So um, effectively what I've done is I've, I've created a line for me to uh, give me a, a bit of space to allow me to um, file up to that line. Um, so once I um, once I had the the circle uh, scribed, I uh, centre popped the uh, the four uh, well, quarters effectively. Then I just guessed. Um, and I put the put it in the pot in the centre pot and just guessed and then went round and marked again. So we had five holes within um, with any quarter and and, and used the centre pot centre punch to um, uh, mark out where where the drilling's going to go. So um, yeah, so that's really where we are at the moment. I hope I can get this super glue off. Never tried it before. And I think I maybe put too much on, but anyway, that's another problem for later on. So what I'm gonna do now um, is gonna go, I'm gonna, we're gonna drill this on the jig borer. Um, and the reason for that is because we've got the rotary table. So I can, um, uh, set it all, set it up on centre, uh, move it back, and we can just go around, and we should uh, be fine. So um, let me go and set it up on the uh, on the jig borer, and I'll bring you back. Okay, see you in a mo. Hiya. So we're at the jig borer. So let me just walk you through what I've done. Um, I ensured that the the workpiece was on centre. Um, and so I had that going down onto the centre of the table and made sure that was correct. Then, um, then I put, had the centre pot there, had that in line and then clamped it all up with my three clamps. I've left a gap underneath here so I don't start drilling through my table. Um, and then I've, I've uh, locked the bed so I can't move it back and forward this way um, and then I indexed across to um, where I am here and then by turning so now let's hope it doesn't hit the camera now I can revolve the table round and we still keep that same uh, diameter um, what it has highlighted is my centre pop marks are pretty rubbish and they don't um, so I'm not, we may have to do a bit of tweaking because um, bearing in mind we're just trying to uh, 
you know, create, um, get rid of the metal so then we can do some filing. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just um, move, move, move this upwards, um, swap this and put the, the drill in and uh, then we'll do some drilling. Okay, so back in a minute. Okay, so let's have a, see if we can drill a hole or two. I'm gonna feed it in at a consistent speed. Bit of a challenge. Just pull it out and clean things up. So we go. If you watch the video on uh the uh, weekend workshop tips, you know why I'm using the blue brush. Yeah. Okay. I'm just really conscious of the fact that I don't want to um, uh, break the drill. Okay, I've got a feeling that the drill bit's slipping up into the um, into the collet. So let me just have a check on that, and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so just to give you a bit of an update of what I've been up to. Um, what I've done is I've um, put a slightly smaller drill in because the original one was getting very close to the, the line I need to file to. So um, uh, this this one seems it's a better, better quality drill and it seems to be cutting a whole lot better. I've also set up a, uh, a mark so that I know from a depth point of view. So um, let me just finish this one. Okay, so, well, that's it. I've just got to repeat this many times. Um, so, I think I will just get busy, turn you guys off, uh, get busy on this. Not right. And um, bring you back when I've done. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi, everyone. So, um, finished on the jig borer. Um, it's not not wonderful to be honest well no actually I mean I've achieved what I wanted a load of holes to be able to saw around and file to so that's fine um, <clears throat> I probably there was probably no need really to center pop all the um, for the drills uh, I added a couple of holes um, and, it, and it went through without without one really so um, but the uh, BCA um, uh, jig borer worked very well so that was really good so I'm very pleased uh, with that so now it's just a bit of elbow grease to uh, cut round here and then file um, file away to uh, get the uh, this, this spindle of the uh, watchmakers uh, or the watchmakers spindle for the Unimat SL to fit through there so uh, it's a Sunday morning here in the workshop. Um, it's pretty pretty cold, so I'm going to um, warm myself up by doing all this stuff, um, and then I'll um, meet up with you a bit later to um, show you how I've got on. Okay, so uh, I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone. So um, just a quick update because um, at the moment the guys um, down in the joinery uh, shop are. In a big manufacturing phase and um, it's pretty impossible to the noise with all the extraction fans it uh, is quite um, quite a challenge you know to record anything but I've just nipped out to uh, price a job so I thought I'd take an opportunity to tell you where I am so I chopped out the um, saw down the uh, the center with a pad saw and that was uh, I've never used a pad saw and that was um, you know it's all manual one um and i did lose i lost control of it effectively and it i couldn't bring it back online so that that was definitely a lesson learned i've got to uh improve things quite a lot there um so what i've i've been filing away and trying to starting to bring it to to size but what um 
one of the things I, I decided to do was I, I took a bit of just a bit of steel and I've turned it down to a smaller size so we're looking for uh, 20 no sorry 35 on here so I've turned this down to 34 I think it was or just under 34 it doesn't really matter and what I'm doing is fi filing this to match this so then I'm gonna it gives me a bit of leeway um, around just to try and get the form uh, that I need you know the actual circular uh, position and then once I'm there so on on the 34 i'll do this one to i'll turn down a bit on the end if i get if it's possible with the noise because it's going to go on for a couple of weeks and i i don't want to drag this out forever um i'll show you me turning it down but i'm not sure if anyone needs to see me turning a piece of metal but anyway I'm going to turn that down to 34 and a half so again then I can just bring it out that extra half mil um, to get and I'm just trying to make sure I keep it round and 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 not oh, not slopey you know it's got to be straight for it to work um, so uh, yeah go for 34 and a half and then I can just finally then bring it out to 35 to to match the spindle now I must admit it's driving me mad and um, I did uh, when I was an apprentice I actually spent eight months the first eight months of our apprenticeship we we spent filing um, so although I have some knowledge of this it was a long time ago and I seem to have forgotten everything but anyway I'm going to stick with it because I truly believe I'm never going to unless I can get do something relatively simple like this I'm never going to manage that clock project so it's um, it's worth me persevering so what I'm going to do is carry on with this get all this finished and then hopefully the guys won't be here at the weekend I'll come in at the weekend and hopefully we can wrap all this up in uh, one more video okay so uh, that'll be the end of this video now um, and uh, we'll see you in uh, part three to um, wrap all this up okay so as always uh, stay happy strong and healthy and uh, thanks for watching cheerio